Hey cookies, it's your girl Ayana Perona, and we are on day 30, I think. My little book, look, I got all kinds of papers and paper clips now. Like this gratitude thing is getting very serious. So here we are. And it is day, let me make sure I got it right. Day 30 of August. And um, here are my notes. It was really good. It was Faithfulness Part 2 with Joyce Meyer. And then in the black under my paperclip, which is Webster Dictionary's definitions, is what I am thankful and showing sure gratitude for today. And um, today I am showing gratitude for and thankfulness on day 30 of vlogist for deliverance. I'll get to my Joyce Meyer notes in a middle, minute. I'll just touch on it briefly. But what I mean by deliverance is, I'll just read what I have. Thank God for deliverance, especially from people and their opinions of who and what you should be or how you should govern yourself. People often reject, put down, or try to label or categorize what they don't understand. Stand firm in who and whose you are. People trust, I'm sorry, people test you when they don't know your testimony. Don't let other people's hangups hinder you. I'll read that one more time. Thank God for deliverance, especially from people and their opinions of who and what you should be and how you should govern yourself. People often reject, put down, or try to label or categorize what they do not understand. Stand firm knowing who, who you are and whose you are. People test you when they don't know your testimony. Don't let other people's hangups hinder you. So what I mean by that is um, I recently um, was out with a um, friend, a new friend, and we were talking about um, dating in relationships and I was talking about um, the kind of people that I attract. Um, and she says, you often attract what you are. Um, you know, so if such and such, or if you attract narcissistic people, then you know, is because you're narcissistic. And she was like, I mean, you are a little narcissistic. Now, granted, I've not known this person for a very long time, but that got me to thinking like, and again, I remember we talked about operating in the spirit of offense, but I don't know how you wouldn't be offended by someone saying that to you. So I was a little slightly put off. And then I was having a conversation with um, actually a family member or somebody, um, you know, that I love yesterday. And they stated that, oh, you know, one would look at your Facebook pictures and think that you were arrogant. How does a selfie or a picture or any of that, like how do selfies or pictures of yourself lead someone to believe that you're arrogant or you're narcissistic? So I wanted to make sure that I wasn't tripping, so I wrote down the definitions. So just giving a brief blurb about what narcissism is, it says self-love and self-admiration, vanity, conceit. On the psychology side of it, it is extreme selfishness and a grandiose view of one's own talents and um, abilities. So self-love, check in the box, but you don't know how long it took me to get to the point to where I love and accept myself for exactly who I am, to where I love myself, to where I accept my features, my attributes, my abilities. You don't know someone's story. You don't know um, if they were suicidal or how they felt about themselves or if they were bullied. Check mark all of the above. So it took me a long time to get to where I am now. And so I'm not going to let someone who doesn't really know me or someone who doesn't understand me um, make me feel bad about now being confident in who I am. So I think that there's a very large difference in being confident in who you are and then being conceited or arrogant. So then um, I wrote down what arrogance is, is defined as. Um, and it says having or revealing an exaggerated sense of one's importance or abilities to be pompous or over proud. Um, I think that sometimes um, you have to know when um, criticism is just criticism or when it's constructive. 
And I think that sometimes people will label you or put you down based upon their own concepts. So if you're someone who doesn't take pictures of yourself because maybe you don't like how you look, to you, I may seem conceited because I post selfies. But again, if you go back to my testimony, being bullied, feeling like this, feeling like that, you don't know how long it took me to get to the point to where I actually can look at myself and like what I see. So just because someone takes a selfie and just because someone takes pictures of themselves or does a photo shoot or whatever their thing is does not make them narcissistic it does not make them arrogant seek to understand people before you judge them or place labels on them so a long time ago in reference to that um something like that would have made me so upset like i would have probably cried and been like so hurt and feeling damaged because someone thought that i was narcissistic or somebody that would thought I was arrogant um, and so that's why I thank God for being delivered from people because I can say they don't know me I know what God has put in me I know what I seek to do for other people um, which is build up and encourage I want all women to be able to look at themselves and be like I'm the cat's meow because you don't know who was in a verbally or emotionally abusive relationship you don't know what someone's story is. So don't put labels on them or project that just because of what you see on social media, which is just a blip or a highlight reel of someone's life, that you know them or that they're conceited or arrogant or a uh, narcissist. You can't determine that by social media or selfies. So thank God for deliverance. Thank God for being delivered from people and their opinions. Thank God that I am confident in Patrice and okay with who I am you should be okay with who you are too so I hope that this video finds you blessed um faithfulness I mean go on JoyceMeyer.org um she has everyday answers I love her because she's life applicable but um everything you need she has it there I mean she was literally just talking about you know the same thing that we talked about yesterday just expounding on it so i don't want to make this video too long if you will please subscribe and like this video head over to my like page like that on facebook it's ayana piranha follow me on instagram and twitter which is ayana piranha one and you can purchase my book at lulu.com new content coming new book coming around thanksgiving so check that out um, yeah, lulu.com, about love and such. It's a collection of poems, scriptures, and quotes all about love. I came out with that around 2013, so it's been a little while. Um, but again, I thank you for being here. I really appreciate all of your love and support, and I will catch you in the next video.